expect. This is a, it's a lost wilderness area. It's an area that was long time ago was having animals free roaming through these areas. And so when the first people, the, the first western people came over here, they saw elephants, they saw lions roaming through these areas. And when they hunted them, they little did they know that this was a very dry environment. And with that, it meaning there was only a low amount of animals roaming through these areas. And so in the late 1700s, most of all the big animals were hunted out. And uh, then, many years later, some bonus started. And so some bonus area that tries to recreate what it long time was. So the animals that you find in these areas are very suitable to these areas. And what I mean by this is you won't find any wildebeest, nor do you find any nor do you find any impalas because they will not survive in these areas. But as you don't find those animals, you find others. Something like Yelant, um, Oryx and Springboks that roam through these areas and are capable of surviving in these very rough terrains. So what I mean by rough is it's a semi-desert and uh, we get a little amount of rain every single year and so the plants and the animals have to be very capable of surviving in these areas um, so the, the amount of animals you see over here is quite natural if we have too many they destroy the whole environment and nothing will be left in quite a few years so we have to have this balance sometimes we can drive for many kilometers and see nothing and sometimes we can go on one game drive and see everything in one go. I have absolutely no clue, no idea where the animals are right now. I have a rough idea of where we last saw them and where they like to go. But like this lions this morning, they put us on a big wild goose chase. And uh, little bit we know, it, we drove right past them. And uh, so it is always something different. You'll never in these areas drive off-road. And that's because the vegetation over here is a very special type of vegetation. It's succulent plants that stores the moisture inside them for many, many um, months on end. And uh, if we drive over it, it bursts like a watermelon. and won't just miraculously start growing back again. And so we never drive off road. And with the, the, the succulent plants around here, we have also a smaller community of animals. Snakes, lizards, tortoises, and these little guys. That, if we drive over the bushes, we don't just kill the bush, but we can also kill the animal that lives around the bushes. So we always need to be very cautious with that. So we'll never ever drive off road. But saying that, these animals um, are very relaxed with us, so it's not always necessary for us to drive off road. The lions, the elephants, the rhinos, and many other animals can scrape past the car. You can scrape past the car. And um, with that, um, we need to have a safety briefing. So when we get very close to any animals, it's very important to stay quiet and stay inside the vehicle. To never lean out or to call them. You can try your best to call them like a, your house cat or your dog or anything like that. They don't know what it means. They won't respond to you. You will have me on top of you. Um, so rather leave the animal to be. If a zebra wants to turn around and pose for a selfie, then you will do that. But we will never try to get their attention. And sometimes it just means us waiting a minute to he turns around, he poses for us, and then we go on. But we never try to get their attention. Um, and yeah, when I said that when animals come very close, it's always very important to, to also stay very quiet. They have, they have the vision of this as one thing. And uh, the vehicle, they have no issues with. Humans, they hate us. They don't like us at all. Uh, they will attack us if they see us on foot. And so in a vehicle, they're happy with us being there. But if you're going to grow out, get the attention to yourself, they will definitely react with that. Usually they will run away. And so um, if the animal comes very close to the car, just be calm. Um, if you do feel uncomfortable, let me know in advance. Because I will let the animal come as close as what I feel comfortable. And what I mean by that, I can see it in their body behavior when they're not having a good day. And if they are not a good day, you just give them space. And uh, so I'll let them come close and sometimes they are just going from the one side to the other side to go to the tree and uh, it's, we are just in between and they don't go straight for us at all. Alright, then it's just off to when you see anything. Um, if you see anything move, let me know about it. I'm very low down to the ground, I'm busy driving, I have radio over here and I'm a man. So I can't do anything myself, I can only do one thing at a time. So please, if you see anything move, let me know. And it doesn't need to be just a giraffe or any big animal. It can be anything in between. We have lions, we have elephants, we have um, uh, rhinos and so forth. We have the big animals. But that's not what makes a reserve special because other reserves have the same thing. 
is what you have else to give what to the landscape to the top of uh, vegetation over here so you can see anything interesting and a rock that looks funny a bush that's doesn't look right you know you're more welcome to stop me about it and also if you see any other thing move don't expect that i see everything because i might be just looking the other side all right and um that's that's more or less it um today um i will just go out and see whatever you can find what we've not found today we can go out and look for tomorrow it's a big space it's fifty-eight thousand hectares everything including the big mountains far in the back and even um, past that is also Borna. It is just slightly smaller than Singapore. It's a big space. And it's a very big space. You have a small amount of animals. So it is quite a challenging thing to find animals around here. And that's what makes it special. Because as soon as we go out of the gates, there's no guarantee. No guarantee what at all. Um, some days we just have everything. And sometimes it's, it's, it's a challenge to find animals. All right, um, a few things I need to, to know from you guys. Is there any medical conditions I should be known of? Maybe you can outrun a lion? No? Okay, <laughs> that's good. That's good for me. I uh, will be fine then. Um, is there any specific request or anything that you really want to see um, or really like? Is there any uh, um, interest that you guys have? Nothing really, anything, no. All right. Um, like I said, if you have any interest in plants or birds or a specific animal like a, a zebra, you're more than welcome to just stop in and ask for it and we can maybe focus on trying to find it. But I will just go out and try to find anything. We bump, whatever we bump, we bump and we can stop and we can talk about it. I will, in the mornings, it's totally different stories. That's where we try to focus on trying to find lions. Because lions, they sleep about 20 hours of the day and we have only four hours to try and find them and it's a it's a, it's a i won't say a race but it's a big challenge to go and find them before they just collapse and fall asleep um so we'll try our best to get hold of them all right any questions from your side all right good